Uh, yeah, to be honest, I, I wasn't sure in what the score was, what the deficit was. We, we finished so poorly. I think we, yeah, unfortunately at the moment, we're just, we're not playing to a standard that we expect. Um, you'll get a lot of players at, at the moment that are down on form. Too many for us to, to stand up when it counts. Um, and I think that was the difference tonight. I, I thought we've, yeah, maybe we're, we're in it to three quarter time and then to drop away like we did, it's, um, it was really disappointing, really disappointing. You talked about the effort being there and tonight, the three quarters it was again, contested possession and tackles were there, the three quarters. Is skills tonight? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Or is it just basically the skill level? Yeah, our, our, well, you know, our skills, our decision making, um, we started well in that space and then for whatever reason went away from it. I didn't feel like the pressure in, in, you know, went, went up at all. We just started making some really poor decisions which um, you know, fueled our opposition, gave them field position, turned the ball over in some really, really dangerous areas. And, um, and it's uncharacteristic for us. It's been a strength of ours now for a, for a number of years. So yeah, and I think that comes back to um, yeah, a number of us just aren't quite where we need to be at the moment. Um, and, and that's exposing us. Yeah, and that's, a, that's the most frustrating part. I'm not, I'm not talking from a coaching point of view. I'm talking from a, a club point of view. We're frustrated at the moment. We're, um, you know, we're doing small things right and getting things and then we're letting ourselves down. Um, how do we fix that? That's what we'll go through in the next... 24, 48 hours, we have a short break in to gather around and you know, we come up against another huge challenge. And so we've got to find a way to, to get out of this, um, this form we're in. You've got less than 30 inside 50s three quarters time, you know, but your last is screwing team. Where, where is it falling down? Is it the forwards not being up in the right Oh, it's, a, it's a combination. It's, it's, not, it's definitely not one area that's letting us down at the moment, although yeah, we, are tr we are struggling to score. Um, it's interesting. Take the first round out of the year. It's a low-scoring slog. Um, but we will be judged on that, and, and we should be. We've, um, but if you look at tonight, you know, it was a, as you mentioned, it was a battle. For, you know, neither, neither team was scoring necessarily heavily. We had our opportunities, didn't take them. Um, and then I'd probably look more at that the lack of sort of cohesion we have at the moment, which is something that we've we have had at a high level over the last couple of years. You know, we've 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 had each other's back. We've known exactly where we're at, and at the moment, it's just not clicking for us. Um, we are working through that. It's things we're doing at training. We're not, you know, this is not new. We're not sitting here tonight saying, "Well, that came from nowhere." Unfortunately, it's now been a couple of weeks in a row that we've been off in that area of, of executing with the ball in hand and making the right decision when we have to. It's still early. It's still early in the season. There are some very, very good sides that are sitting at a similar record. Um, so by no means are we, are we dropping our bundle, but, but at the moment we're incredibly frustrated with where we're at. Um, yeah, so we'll sit down as a group and we'll, we'll nut through it. We'll find out how do we find that form, how do we bring that connection back, um, how do we believe in ourselves again. I, I don't think we've lost belief at all, but... You know, confidence is an amazing thing in footy. When, when momentum's with you, um, you can really ride that. At the moment, we don't have that. We've got to find a way to get it. How did you rate your forwards uh, and big forward, Ken? Which, uh, last time, Tal was here, give us a story that nine goals and tonight didn't kick one. But Tal, yeah. How did you rate that big forward, Ken, and your forward line? Yeah, probably the area tonight that was, was disappointing. We're not quite getting that done. And that's a couple of weeks in a row. Different reasons, though. I thought last week... Uh, you know, our opposition beat us in the air. Uh, you know, had a lot of intercept marks. Tonight we were able to get the ball on the ground, but Fremantle were, were very good at the way they, you know, cleaned that ball up and were able to take it out of their fore, out of their back half. Um, yeah, we would have... I don't know what the stat was exactly, but we would have lost that, that ground ball battle in our front half by, by a fair bit tonight. I would say double figures. Um, and that can come when you're not moving the ball quite as well as, you know, you know you can. You're making decisions through the ground that aren't necessarily helping our forward half. And the two knee injuries tonight, um, Well, I don't know exactly yet. They're both going to have to have scans. Um, again, that's a fingers crossed 
scenario there. Um, you know, Wayne's is Wayne's probably looked a little worse than what Murph did. Um, but we just we just hope for for the individual that it's nothing major. But it, we'll have to have a scan on it. Um, I haven't sat down with our medical guys yet to to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, it's a, it's if you're going to find some positives, you know, Mark's uh, an Irish lad who's now, you know, I'm not sure how many games he's played, but you know we're talking under 30, under 20 games of footy, um, so he's still learning the game as such. You know, an outstanding young player back in Ireland that we were able to bring over to our footy club and give an opportunity, and he's he's stepping up at the moment. Um, he's still got a fair bit to learn, and you know he makes some mistakes, but we embrace those. We just love the way he goes about it. He's a competitor. Um, so, you know, he's one that at the moment is playing some good footy for us. A couple of weeks back at home there, it was a good time um, gather around next week, um, given your, your difference rate. Time to gather yeah, it's always nice to play at AO. Um, you know, the, our last hit out there last weekend, we, we had a great a great matchup, you know, a good battle. Didn't quite get it done, so we'll be we'll be pretty keen to write that. Um, last year's gather around, it's it's a buzz. You know, Adelaide is an absolute buzz through this this long weekend, or the the weekend of footy next uh, weekend. We got a tough match up, so uh, it's a Thursday night game as well. It's a big one. Um, short weeks are always nice when you when you don't perform as well as you'd like because it, it's less time to sit around and stew on it. So we'll sort it out and then we'll uh, we'll lick our wounds and get ready for for Melbourne. Is there an opportunity with it being gather around to use? They talked about the buzz. Do you will you feed off that buzz or are you calling more than that? Uh, we, we've we're, historically we've been a group, and now it's only short short time, but we've been a group that have embraced it and enjoyed the big stage. Um, at the moment, we got some work on, so um, some of that might be between the ears, just our ability to just start to believe and get back on you know, get back on the horse. Very good. Thanks, Thanks, guys.